Hello, fourth grade friends. Today, for the first day of your Fiverr boot camp, we will be creating the loom of your weaving. Also, you will be attaching your warp into your weaving as well. For the first step, you will need to gather your supplies. This is what you'll need. First thing you need is a piece of cardboard, rectangular piece, a pair of heavy duty scissors, a ruler, a pencil, and then eventually you'll need a roll of string. First, you're going to start with your piece of cardboard and a pencil. Flip it to the back side. You know it's the back side because it has all of the tape and maybe some writing on it. First thing you're going to want to do is write your name, your class, four, and then the letter for your teacher. And then on this side, you can also write back. It's going to help you out in a little bit. Flip it over to the other side. This will be your front. All right, now that we've labeled the front and the back, we are gonna use your ruler to measure. Find the two short sides. This will be your top and bottom. And you're gonna measure every half inch. Remember the half inch is the long dash in between the numbers, and you're going to make a dash at the numbers as well. So put your ruler on your piece of cardboard, match it up with the edge, and make a dash at every half inch mark. So half an inch, one inch, one and a half, Two and a half, three and a half, four and four and a half, five, and finally five and a half. Okay, we're gonna flip this around to the bottom, do the same thing, match it up with the edge. A half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, and finally five and a half. All right, once you've had all of those marks, the next step is you're going to use your heavy duty pair of scissors and you're going to just cut on those dashes. You don't want your cuts to be super, super deep. Make them about a half inch, two. Gonna do that for the bottom. Also gonna do that for the top. And then we're gonna use the string to create the warp. The warp is what we will eventually weave all of our yarn into. So the loom is this piece of cardboard, the warp is the string, and then the weft will be the yarn that we eventually weave in. Okay, now that I've done all these cuts, it's time to string it up. So we get one large uh, spool of string. You're gonna, eh, you know, take a few inches off. And you're going to go to the back first. We're going to slide in that string in the first hash that you made. Okay? I'm going to leave a little tail. That'll be important later on. When you flip it around to the front, you're going to use your string, go all the way to the opposite side, stick it in. Okay? So it's going to be like a guitar at the front. But on the back, we're just going to slide it behind one of these. Almost like you're flossing a tooth. Okay? We'll slide that in right there, pull tight, flip it around to the front, down to the other side, stick it in. So guitar on the front, we're flossing on the back. Wrap it around that tooth, stick it through, flip it around to the front, all the way across to the other side, stick it in, flip it around to the back, floss behind your tooth, flip it around to the front, down to the other side to create that guitar. So you want the guitar on the front, flossing the teeth on the back. I can go ahead and just speed this up real quick. Floss, guitar, flip, floss. Oop, come on, there we go. Guitar, flip, floss, guitar, flip, floss, guitar. Flip, floss, guitar. Flip, floss, guitar. Flip, floss, and guitar. Last one. All right. So that's what it should look like when you are all done. On the back, this is what it should look like as well. When you get to the other side, 
grab your scissors, cut that off and make another little tail. Once you've completed this, this is day one. We will start weaving into this starting next week.